Okay, so is it fair to say that when you're buying these businesses, you're not letting each business kind of operate with its own kind of culture and its own people and its own brand name? Everything you buy eventually rolls up under the Vortex brand, or do you operate as a hold co where everything can operate separately from each other? No, we 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 believe in we believe in integration. Um, we also believe that the customer. We also believe in the, the customer interface is important. So, you know, there's a lot of companies out there, large platform companies that are will go in and say, oh, you know, in the first year, your the font of your logo changes, and year two, you become a, you know, you become a so and so company, and then by year three. You know, we, we tend to go in and we want the, we want to create enough culture and enough, enough, uh, engagement in the business for them to make that decision, uh, required. There's a guy, uh, you know, well, uh, I can give you a couple of quick examples, like, like back vision in the Southeast, you know, <laughs> the owner of that business came to me or the seller and, and he now runs our, our, our services group. He's president of our services group. Wes is, is a a great friend and you know one of the first large acquisitions we did right after we uh brought platform on and uh and he's like i hate my i hate the name back vision is a terrible name i want to be vortex today i'm like all right well you know we gotta work through the customer stuff that that was different you know in in maine we bought a company called ted berry that was a you know a multi-generation business and matt timberlake is 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 actually one of our one of our culture leaders at this business, um, uh, and help develop our, help develop our culture, which is, which is, uh, I can, I can tell you about in a moment, but you know, he was one that surprised me. He came back qu quicker than we thought and said, you know what, this is, this business is, uh, is ready to move on to its next stage and, and calling it Vortex is, so all of our business service businesses are actually called Vortex now. They're all integrated. They're all on the same platform, which is I'm very proud of. That's we see a lot of companies where they do operate under that structure, and in some cases it works. But I think having uh, having them all integrated and having them on one system and seeing and you know bleeding orange is is important to, is important to developing the right kind of story, and, and I think a story that we're building. Um, we uh, we and you know I, I grew up in a very traditional family, family business. And you, know, the, the, you had your name on the building and Delano was a, was a, you know, it was a proud moment to see on your trucks and everything else. We, we've, we still think about Vortex that way. We only think, we think about it a little differently, less, you know, we, we, we try to build as much of a team environment as we can. You know, we're not perfect all the time, but we have a, a corporate culture that's built on this premise of winning big. We actually trained Mark to, so we, we win big as our, is our uh, is our uh, we we hired a group to come in and help us sort of capture and harness who we are. You know, we're all pretty hard charging guys that guys and gals that that uh, want to win. So winning big was is what came out of that. And we we you see it around our office and you see it on a lot of our. You'll see it when you go to our website. Um, it's a big part of who we are. I love it. Um. All right, I want to get back to culture, but I, I want to real quick on 2016. So you kind of meet with Regions Bank and uh, you kind of have the epiphany that we need to raise uh, new money. Obviously, you had worked at a private equity backed company before. But I think this is important for a lot of people to hear. Um, you had, let's just call it bootstrapped your way to 40 million in revenue. That's that's. Uh, um, a feat of its own, but what mattered to you? Like, how did you start this process? Did you already know who you were going to go to? Did you interview lots of people? Like what mattered? And ultimately, how did you make the decision to work with who you worked with? You know, I think, I think that there's a couple of, a couple of important, like a couple of important quotes that I've, or, or you know, by, Buying or building, or obviously, you know, we looked back and said, you know, could we do this again? Could we, could we go out and bootstrap it in ways where we're taking the right kind of work or working with the right partners? And the reality is, you know, we're in a municipal pay cycle, and at some point, you know, you you start to you start to create a, a situation where it would have it would have been hard for us to 
to raise the capital and do the things that we were going to do on our own. Um, we, we probably could have done it, but I, you know, knowing what I know now, I didn't, I, I grew up in a, in a, in, a, in an environment where I, I didn't, I didn't really understand what kind of money was out there. If I knew, if I knew what, if I knew what I knew now, I, I don't know. I, you know, at the end of the day, we found essentially exactly what we were looking for in platform who was, who was a, a company that invested, you know, 51, 49, they weren't institutionally backed. I didn't want a company that, you know, had a, a huge amount of, of a pension fund. And I want, it was, the platform is a lot like a family office. Um, and I had met them in a, in a, uh, actually, uh, when my family's business was for sale to try to help them out. Um, and, uh, and they gave me a, you know, he gave me a pitch that, that stayed with me. And then when I started, when, when Regions said, you know, you should look, we went and talked to a few different private equity groups and Brad Morgan at platform. I called him up and said, Hey, I think we're, I think we're really moving this train pretty fast and your structure, you know, makes sense. And, uh, there's an opportunity for some of us here that I don't, I didn't think we thought we would have as quickly as we might. And uh, I think we can get this thing to, I think we have a path to get this thing to four or five hundred million dollars in in the next seven or eight years, and and uh, and uh, or ten years. And you know, he he believed in us, and it was a it was a much quicker and very painless process. You know, like you know, diligence is relative, right? But uh, you know, I didn't want I didn't want uh, I didn't want the traditional the traditional group. In the sense that, you know, in the sense that they, uh, that it became, you know, we're still, we're still needed to be nimble. Platform has allowed us to do that and go out and build a great business. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we still have a lot to accomplish to get to those numbers, but, you know, we're at least more than halfway there. So that's good. Was there something, you know, and if the answer is, like it's private, you can't share, but like, was there something that stood out? You know, you said that they weren't institutional, which I can, I can guess means they didn't come with all these extra red tape things that institutions now require, but is there a certain way they're structured? You kind of mentioned perpetual uh, funding that was just like, yeah, this resonated with me a lot more than your typical term sheet. Um, yeah, I think their, I think their plan with all their businesses to hold on to them as long, as long as, uh, as long as it takes. And if they're growing a great business, you know, they, they, the one thing I liked about them is they hadn't sold a lot of businesses. They, their plan was to, to hold and, and, and build great companies. And, you know, by being that there really isn't, you know, a charter and a fund and they have to move it in seven to 10 years. And if you know, it's not, it's perpetual and we raised, we raised debt, you know, for, you know, deal, they raised debt for the deal and, and it, it, uh, it was a great, you know, great opportunity to come in and, and, and break, you know, in a, in a structure like that, you can, you can pivot and you can do some things. It's not all about, you're not in a sales mode. The minute you walk in day one, you know, you're building a great business the same way we were before. Um, they also, you know, offered a lot of things that I hadn't, hadn't been around, you know, they, they have a great culture and they had uh, the ability to support all the things that I needed from, uh, as a, as a guy who understood the business, but didn't understand everything I needed to understand about business. Um, they've taught me a lot about that, uh, in a way that I don't know that, you know, I deal with, I deal with the, with the leadership there in some cases in smaller groups, you're dealing with an analyst or somebody that isn't necessarily a guy that's going to, or, or gal, it's going to help you understand. It's just a number, you know. So, yeah, they're part. They're true. You know, they 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 are partners, and it's been a learning a learning experience. You know, for me, being a being a bull sometimes, but at the same time, really uh, allowing us to do a lot of the things that have made this company or make this company a great company. Yeah. Um. When you um. When you when you team up with them and call it 2016, 2017, obviously you kind of mentioned you had a goal of getting to you know half a billion in revenue, um, 
and they're a perpetual kind of fund. Uh, it's not a blank check, but is is the relationship kind of, hey, as long as you know these are deal accretive uh, opportunities and and you know we're investing in good opportunities, we're going to continue to be there. Um, because you've bought a lot over the last six years since you were with them. Like, how, how does that how does that relationship look? You call them whenever a new deal comes in and say, you know, do you like it or do you not? Or, you know, how does it work? You know, our, our deals are all in since 2000, you know, since we started, since our first acquisition of Quadex, you know, we've never hired an investment banker. We've never use any outside, any outside resources. It's all been industry related arm's length, uh, in some cases, customers, um, people that we've, we've had the opportunity to work with for a period of time. So we, we really understand the companies that we're buying a little differently than, than most, but, um, you know, we, we, the, the, the business we acquired in Germany and I've known, I've known, the owner of that business since since 2011 or 2012. You know, we've been around each other for a long time, uh, and and same for same for for the U.S. and Back Vision was one of Quadex's oldest customers. Um, so we 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 were able to we were able to build, which is really the riskiest side of diligence, right? Like you said before, the culture and the personalities and the people that are going to carry these businesses forward. That that's that's the hardest part. <laughs> of buying a deal the, the, you know, you got to look for traps and you got to look for the financial side, but if they don't, if they're going to come in and not fit in, into your culture and who you are and, and, and our model is to take people from those businesses and really ramp them up and put them in, put them in, uh, and put them in larger positions or different positions or get the most out of, you know, uh, get, get the most out of what, uh, what makes them great at what they do. Um, and uh, that's integration is, like I said before, I'm proud of the fact that they're called Vortex. I see companies all the time where they have you know, there's nine different names on a card. Um, so, you know, from that, so then, you know, once we, once we know that that's a reality and once, you know, once we can have that connectivity with a seller that's just like, you know, this is the right thing and we want you to be on the cap table, we want you to reinvest and we want you to be a part of what we're doing going forward. Uh, that's when we have that conversation and, and, uh, and you know, it's, um, you always got to make the numbers work. <laughs> that's yeah. So we kind of, we, we, and early on one of, you know, one of the biggest, if I could go back and write a, and it, like you said, like, you know, how you cash flowed the business or how you went to regions, you know, th those are all things that I would do some combination of. I don't know if I would do it exactly the same, but I would. Uh, but we still, when we started in, in 2016, we brought a general counsel on number of platform, like you're, you're a small company. You, why do you need, well, we've never hired a banker because I, I hired an, a, a guy that understood M and A and came on as a partner and, and helped us, you know, really intimately got involved in all these deals. We hired a, a young financial guy uh, out of the Naval Academy that came on and did all of our modeling. So I didn't, we had all this stuff sort of internally. And then we could evaluate the business from an industry perspective. And that was really a big, a big part of our secret sauce. Um, and for the most part, you know, platform has helped hone in all those things and help us made the right, make the right financial decisions when we buy these companies. But we, we do Vortex, you know, as a standalone, um, we have a lot of the infrastructure to go out and get those deals done, which has been an, another big part of our success. And, and uh and platform being there to help validate that stuff is sort of the cherry on top you know how many businesses have you acquired since uh 2016 and we're you know we've done a couple of small asset deals but it's 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 if you include them it's 11 companies all right um let's just spend some time on this and then i've got some other uh questions and then some fun ones but um uh -huh. <laughs> nothing crazy um i just the the you've met you've mentioned integration like a lot i can clearly see it's really important and you kind of said on each acquisition you kind of let that acquisition dictate how the integration might take place 
is there like a 90 day one year playbook or you know something like skills that you've learned over time i guess if somebody was listening that that might be integrating companies and was like man these are some lessons that i never you know i never would have learned or things that you've learned the hard way like what are the top three things to integrating a company or something to that degree yeah i think most of the i think when integration gets super generic it gets it starts to it starts to get less uh they, you know, your success rate goes down um you know understanding the business that you're integrating understanding the personalities knowing who is really critical to that business is the key to integration um and then i think you take it down a notch and you look at their you look at the tools that you use you look at the technology you look at the systems you look at where they operate you look at uh you know there's certain businesses we've gone in and you know at the we're at the you know, you're at the opening the, the the first day and you find out that there's you know five brothers and cousins working on a crew or you find out you know you got to you have to understand the the dynamics of a business and understand how important that crew is to the revenue and how you affect how you effectively integrate them in um and then you know from a t and then timing is the third piece like do you you look at um you know looking at the first 90 days or the first six months you know there's death and taxes like uh, you, there's certain things your insurance is going to be when your insurance when your policies run out you're going to be on our insurance you're not going to we're going to bond because you know that's just the way the liability works um the money's going to come to houston there's a few things that are just that are just basic things that you get out of the way but taking them off their system and doing a huge shock to this shock to what who they are and how they operate um has never been a real so the timeline is relative i think depending on how uh some guys come to us and say, look, I don't, I just know how to put pipe in the ground. I don't know how to do any of this stuff. We're going to go on the system immediately. And that, and, and, you know, that sounds easier than it is. You know, sometimes you, you sort of have to take a step back. And then there's some where we adopt, we adopt some of the things that they do because they do it so well, you know, the way they, the way they schedule and the way that they, they look at the business. So, um, yeah, I think it's under, really understanding the business understanding how the the way that they operate affects the key people and that are critical to that business and then you know and and really making it clear what the what the the things that are going to change day one are which are really money and insurance and maybe a few other things payroll that kind of shit ap and then the last piece being and then the last piece really being uh, really being focused on on developing the right timeline you know some we've gotten some uh and you know mo most of the size businesses where we acquire are uh, some are on a more sophisticated system but a lot of them are on quickbooks or on something where it's uh, i mean you can run it's amazing the size business you can run on quickbooks quickbooks <laughs> is a really great product i know you know sometimes i wish we were on quickbooks it can do things that are you know super expensive erp can yeah it's like two of the most successful technologies of all time are still microsoft word and microsoft excel like same with i put quickbooks in that category there's really been um it's just amazing we still have people that don't that we you know we integrate this great construction tracking software and it's just like i i, I can't i can't I, i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna track everything on excel i'm like well you know it's kind of doing the same thing it's just like well this just makes me it just makes me comfortable like well this is where it's got to get but at the end of the day you realize that that's actually what so those guys that are doing it that way are your best project managers you know they they don't need a tool to make them better they're just they're just good at doing what they do do you care at all if the leaders of the businesses stay on post close is that a a deal term deal by deal or is it something that's um that's important to you one way or the other it's very, it's very important to us. It's important in the businesses that we look at. I mean, in this day and age, leadership and, and people, uh, are critical to running a business. Um, you know, I, I don't, uh, I think one of the things we look for in acquisitions are, you know, how many we've, we've acquired a business, uh, that we're two, you know, 
two members of that business are now running separate divisions and and have someone in you know on the on the leadership team uh you know dave who runs our our new jersey office and sean who runs maine and and we have you know, there's more to come you know we, i think we have an incredible amount of talent in our business uh when we look at when we look at acquisitions i think you know looking at how their leadership engages with their team and how they talk about their team and who they are, you know, how they get along with their partners, all that stuff is, you know, to integration. Like, yeah, I don't, there's been, there's been a, there's been a few technologies that we've acquired to my P. Uh, and in that case it was, you know, it wasn't, it was really about the technology and less about the people. Um, but, uh, yeah, keeping, keeping and preserving, um, and, and making sure that they're a right fit to, to be in, you know, in, involved in, in what we're doing is important.